Hello everyone and welcome back. So to 2006 and what a year it was. You probably don't remember all of it as it was a long time ago. But 2006 was pivotal in changing the future of darts for the next decade and more. Now if you like these darts videos but aren't subscribed then please support the channel by hitting the big red subscribe button down below and liking this video whilst you're down there. Let's get started. 2006 started with Phil Taylor winning his 13th world title versus unlucky third time loser Peter Manley. Another whitewash, but this time a warm embrace between the two players. Taylor's dominance was at its greatest at this time, but all that was about to change. Over at Lakeside, 21-year-old qualifier Jelle Klaassen upset everyone by making the BDO final where he would face Dutch legend and four-time champion Raymond van Barneveld. It wasn't Barney's greatest game and that allowed Klaassen to shock the world again by winning the world title on debut. 25, 86 left. Double eight. Yes! It's there! It's there! Everyone in! There he goes, Barbara Leach. The chief executive of the Lakeside hands him the trophy. And just think, 21 years of old. Trina Gulliver would keep up her impressive record at Lakeside by winning yet another Ladies World Championship. Trina Gulliver points. And then darts changed forever. As the BDO's biggest star and four time world champion would do the unthinkable and switch to the PDC to finally battle Phil Taylor for supremacy. In a monumental moment for the BDO, this would start the wave of top players leaving the BDO for the PDC in the coming years. And as part of that switch, Barneveld was offered a wildcard spot in the Premier League so that the fans wouldn't have to wait long to see him battle the power. And so to the Premier League. Back in 2006, it consisted of seven players, including the wildcard, and each had their own superhero alter ego. And Barneveld was nicknamed, for a brief period at least, The Man. How did Barneveld introduce himself to the PDC? By hitting the first ever Premier League 9 data versus Peter Manley. And belly to belly in the audience! Oh, 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 there we go again! I do not believe it! 180! 180! Trouble 9 double 12 for a 9 data. Double 12 for a fantastic 9 dart! And in the very same night, coming back from 7-4 down to draw 7-all with Phil Taylor. Not a bad night's work for Raymond. Barnabas has snatched a draw, a fabulous match and a storybook ending. Back from 7-4 down to get a draw. Over. I think this could be the start of something very special between you two over the, the coming years. You're going to have some great matches. Yeah, that's what I think. Uh... And they were both right about that. Phil Taylor would ultimately win the Premier League, defeating Roland Scholten in a one-sided final. <laughs> Barneveld would soon after win the International Darts League in Holland, however, beating Colin Lloyd in the final. And so to the UK Open, where Barneveld would again face Taylor in the quarter-final. And despite being 10-9 down, he would force a decider on a race to 11. Taylor set himself up for three darts at tops for the match. Look at Mug if he misses, he'd be very close for the match. This is where he went wrong before, didn't use a lie properly, it's awkward. A mile away, the tension showing. Two tens for the match. But unbelievably, he missed. And Barnevel took out 97 to win 11 10 in a classic. Two darts, he's out. Barneveld would then follow this up by beating Barry Bates in the final for his first PDC major. What a debut. In. Tops for glory! Ten shots! Barney! Hello! He took out Taylor in the quarter finals. Now he's taken the finals. Barney! 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 
Simon Van Barleveld. Up next was the much forgotten Las Vegas Desert Classic and it wasn't all Barneveld and Taylor as John Park got the better of Barneveld to take the title. Will do! Oh yes, John Park is the Desert Classic boy champion! He... A few weeks later was the match play, a tournament Barneveld hadn't qualified for being new on the tour, and as such, we got Taylor in yet another final. But he was up against a fresh-faced James Wade in his first ever major PDC final. A breakout moment and year for James Wade, who would go on to be one of the all-time greats himself. And he started well, leading Taylor 9-8. But as usual, Taylor ramped it up and dominated the second part of the game, eventually winning 18-11 for his eighth match play title. Korea is the world match play champion. Taylor would follow that up with a comfortable win v Martin Adams to win the World Trophy. It's the World Dark Trophy 2006. And so to the Grand Prix, where Taylor would make yet another final, this time besting Barneveld in the quarterfinals and beating Terry Jenkins in the final for another Grand Prix title. Back over at the BDO and a young 17 year old had made quite the stir by making the World Masters final where he faced Martin Adams. That 17-year-old was rising star Michael Van Gerwen, who went on to beat Adams to become the youngest world master Let's ever. Let's leave it with his first down, uh, maybe treble 19. Single 10 or 2. Well, he wants double 18 with his last for the tackle! And he's there! He has done it! He's done it! Yet another huge breakthrough in darts for a player who would go on to be the best in the world. We have won this title. We fought. And then to the World Championships. Barneveld was seeded 32, meaning he faced world number one, Con Lloyd, in one of the greatest comebacks ever. 3 0 down on a race to four and going home. He fought back to 3 3 and forced a decider. And after Lloyd missed many match darts, Barneveld took out 56 to win and make it through. How things might have been different in darts had Lloyd have won this match. Because Barneveld would make the final where he would face his great rival, Phil Taylor. And with Taylor going 3 0 up, things looked bleak and Barney needed something. Cue a 170 finish to kickstart his comeback. Gotta keep this crisp. He could manage this. This just might get him, set him up. And that's the 172. The top finish. As he wrestled ahead at 6 5 before Taylor made it 6 all, and they couldn't be split. And so to a deciding leg, and the most famous throw for the ball of all time. Well, this one, but it'll only take 12 or 13 darts. That's there a 25. Go. Use that as a guide. Gets That's the ball. The ball that time. could be the most important ball he's hit in a long time. Winning that would prove pivotal, as Barney would leave himself on tops, and after Phil couldn't check out... Tops he wants. Raymond van Barneveld was the champion of the world in probably the greatest game of all time, between the greatest players of all time. A truly remarkable year that changed darts forever. What was your favourite moment? Let me know down in the comments. Thanks for watching everyone. We'll see you on the next one. Darts champion 2007.